Wouldn't you know it, my first jersey still fits me. Italy, 1990. The color doesn't look quite right. But yeah, I've been talking about counterfeit jerseys and you know my favorite jerseys. We have gone through almost all of my collection. There are a few jerseys that I still haven't covered. Um, but I thought let's go one that's Italy and unfortunately it is a counterfeit. And yeah, I have here a new set for a new series that I'm planning to do soonish. Um, but there's one jersey. Italy, 2006, the one that won the World Cup. I wanted to get it badly with only the three stars. I never liked this crest, honestly. Um, when I saw it, and it was the first time we saw it at this World Cup, I thought, what is this? Looks horrible. And yeah, this was the time when I was, that was my first time I was really going crazy on um, eBay. And I saw this one and I looked at all the details. First of all, I wanted to have Pirlo was kind of my favorite player. It has these gold numbers. He had the Puma cat here very nicely. It had it also here. And it was asymmetric on this um, one. And also on the back, it looked more or less legit online. It, they really did a really good job. But if I look closer now on the jerseys that are sold here, this the dark part goes a little bit too far in and also this lettering doesn't look quite right to me honestly but it's very very close um when i got it i thought it is a special player ed um, edition and i really want to have this because it's the first time that italy won something it's my team. I don't like this jersey. I think it's one of the worst Italy shirts. When I saw it ahead of the World Cup, I was like, what is this? Why do we need this? Why do we need this? Take all of that out of the way. We're fine. I also am not so sure about everything centered, but I think I can live with that. Also here the crest with the little bit wider middle part. Just didn't sit well with me as a fan. This is how I wanted an Italy shirt to look like. And if there's also the shields, then even better. You know, very plain, have a little Italian flag in there. Don't have these navy elements. And then also here. But yeah, I got it. I was super excited. And I still have not had like official confirmation that this is a fake. But what immediately ticked me off is the material. It is polyester, but it's a, like a, more like a plastic bag. It's a very thick material. And if you put this shirt on, it feels like your skin is suffocating. I barely can wear this shirt to be honest. Um, I do wear it from time to time but it just doesn't feel right. It is really you start immediately sweating because there's no ventilation, no airflow going into it which is not something that a soccer shirt has. Uh, any soccer shirt that I ever wore had. Uh, I think the closest to a ventilation is, was this arc here which is a kind of a softer material but the rest is it's a very rough i mean you i think you can even hear that it's not the same if I, if 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 i take this you know this feels like a cloth this is my new brazil shirt or if i let's take the grease shirt similar there's there's a certain feel to it that this one just doesn't have uh you know what this means this means i need to get this one a real one sooner or later of course those are not super expensive because that's the one they won the world cup in and i don't want to have the one with the four stars um i sooner or later i will get the real version for now i keep it in my collection because you know it looks kind of the part it doesn't look all that bad it is my favorite italian player of the 2000s is on the back uh so i'm about happy about that that lettering style always was weird how the those extend so far and then everything here was in lowercase letters is something that Puma kept for quite a while um, you know there are a few things that I don't like and uh, what really got me when I got this one it had Puma tags on it and this here the crest it looks too close to, 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 to the original but to me I think the biggest giveaway in a way is that I want to get a hand on a 2000, any 2006 shirt of that caliber. I'm, 
I didn't pay too much attention to it. I gave to my advisor when I graduated uh, in, in, in America, I gave him the same style Austria shirt in black with the red arc and his number on there. And I never really touched it, but this was that style. And I wish I could feel the material on that one. I'm just so certain that this is not the real deal. Um, bugs me. It bugs me for about, I got this, um, I think I got this in 2006. Um, or in 2000, no, 2006 I got this um, after the World Cup. I really needed to have this one. Uh, I got a few of the internet that all, I mean, the two Adidas that I got were also, you had, they, were, they were fabrication errors on there. I have a Zidane France away shirt. I had the Argentina away shirt that I gifted to my brother. All of these shirts I want to have in a proper version again uh although the sedan shirt overall looks quite good and is legit it's just the way it's cut though is a fabrication the fabrication errors on this this one doesn't meet this criteria i re i really think it started by bugging me around 2010 when i really 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 i always was into collecting but when i said you know i need to get the real stuff and back then i hadn't found classic football shirts yet and now these shirts are just too expensive and to get it with pirlo that's a tough call. Anyway, as I said, it's not my favorite Italy shirt, but it's one that I really want to like to have the original. Um, because they won the World Cup in that one, so I gotta have it. And there is a plan of mine to get all the World Cup winning shirts that I can get. Um, kind of connected to what I have here. Yes, so let me know what you think about this shirt. Um, if you can... Give me a hint where I can find a similar one uh, for relatively cheap. I would be very thankful to you. Hint, hint. But yeah, um, how do you like this shirt? Do you have any memories attached to it other than winning? Yes, it's the hat, but uh, was also happening while well, Italy where was wearing this shirt. Um, so yeah. There are some good memories attached to that. I gotta say that. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. I'm really planning on something uh, somewhat special connected to my collection, but uh, it's not quite yet in full fruition, but um, we'll get there and I will also look at a few jersey review ideas, but give me some time. Meanwhile, I'm writing like crazy on my blog, so you can actually read my reviews as well. Let me know what you think about this one and I will talk to you soon. Bye.